Hi there. Welcome to Click Data and the course in Microsoft Excel 2007 Part 1. Maybe you've already been trying Excel out a bit, written something in the template window, and wondered how it really works. Or, like most people I know, taken over an old worksheet from a colleague, learned how to make changes in it, but without really understanding how it works or how to start from scratch. And that is exactly what we're going to do. Start from the beginning. Because it's a bit like building a house. The foundation has to be right for the house to stand strong. So, we've arranged the six chapters of this part one course like this. In the first chapter, we'll become familiar with the interface, which is completely new in Office 2007. The menu area is gone and replaced by an area called the ribbon. We'll learn how to find what we need, open a workbook and see how it's organised, and then save it in the new 2007 format. In Chapter 2, we'll start working and learn how the data gets into the cells and what rows and columns are for. And with the data in place, we can both search and sort it in different ways. The primary thing about Excel is probably still the calculations you can do with the help of formulas and functions. And we'll look into how you do that in the third chapter of the course. The calculations we've worked with so far are registered cell by cell and called data sheets. An option for this is to convert the area into a table and gain access to the new table tools. There are many advantages with tables, dynamic preview and autofilter among others. In the fourth chapter we will also be working in a whole new section of Excel, the page layout section. In the fifth chapter, we will be formatting the calculations. Every type of data has its own format, numbers, dates, text and percent. And you can save everything in a theme, which Excel, Word and PowerPoint have in common. And to visually find values, which might not sum up with our expectations, we will get help from the conditional formatting. I've saved the best chapter for the end, the Charts chapter. Excel 2007 has made the creating of charts both easier and more fun, as we'll see in the last part. And before we leave Excel, we will create a PDF from the calculations and charts. Sure, there's a lot to be done, so copy the example folder to your hard drive so you can do the same things that I do, and then we'll get going. Welcome. I've got Windows Vista and here we can push the Windows key on the keyboard or click on the button down here and then go to Start Search down here and write on the keyboard Excel. And it's enough that I type the first letters to see that I can get hold of different kinds of documents but also the program that's located up here. The program starts running and now it looks like this. At the top, where we used to have menus, we now have buttons located instead. And Home, that's where Microsoft has gathered the most frequent things you do when working. For example, manage texts, adjust texts or work with other kind of things. And then you can click on the other tabs to find things you might not use as often. We go to Insert, and here we can see that we can insert table. We can add pictures and smart art graphics. We can add charts of different types, and we can also create links, and so on. Under Page Layout, here we can look at the entire page, for example margins, but also page size. And we can also see that we have small arrows here below where we can click to do, for instance, settings, depending on what I want to do right now. Click again on the arrow to close up. Under formulas, here we can go to 
do different types of calculations. We can add functions or, for example, autosum, which perhaps is the most common. We can also see how Excel now works visually to educate us at the same time, with, for example, how these different things work. Under data, we can filter the data. We can sort it, and this is more for showing when we have a lot of data. Reviewing. This is for when we're working in a later stage of the document. For example, when we're spelling, or if we're going to comment on our colleagues' work. And we can also share workbooks or protect them. Under View, we can take a look before we, for example, print, or we can see how it looks on full screen. We can go to Show, Hide, and see, for example, rulers, headings, and such. This is also where the Zoom function is, if you need to zoom in and look at something more closely. Under Developer, well, I'm not sure that you can see this tab in your window because it's a setting that you have to set in Excel Options. However, here are things for developers where you, as an ordered, ordinary user, never go. We can see that it is about codes, for example, XML. And then I also have a small tab called Add-ins. And here is where extra stuff ends up. So if you don't see these last two, it might depend on that you have not installed, for example, like I've done here, a little extra plugin called Flash Paper. But let's back down to home. And here we can also see in the different groups that we have buttons. And they look the same as they always have done in the Office Suite. But we also have a small button to click here if the case is that we don't find everything we want here. In this case, we entered the clipboard, and here, the 24 last clippings, everything I've done with the copy and paste function, end up. I'll write, for example, hello, and then I'll mark it, and then I'll choose copy. And directly, it ends up in my list here. Now, keep an eye on these 24 as they fill up the list. Well, I regret it, so I remove it so that I haven't written anything, and then I close my clipboard. Also with fonts, a small box will come up, but here it looks a little different. This box comes up as a floating window instead, on top of everything, and here we can find all other settings which are not included as buttons. I'll choose Cancel here. If you find it hard to have all these buttons lying here, you can double-click them to hide them. And you can also right-click to minimize the ribbon. So you click and it will appear, but if you then start to write and work, it will be hidden. If you always want them out, then double-click so they're there, which means that when you work and write, they will always stay there. We're going to talk much more about this in the course in just a moment.